Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Discord bot in five minutes or maybe even less using our Discord bot starter kit. Yeah, cool. Um, so before we get into the starter kit, the first thing we need to do is actually set up an application within Discord to get all the permissions and get our bot account and everything. If you've already done that before, you can skip over this part. Otherwise, I will show you how to do that. Uh, we need to go to this URL right here. You'll need to have an application, or you'll need to have a, uh, sorry, a Discord account set up already. And if you do, you should see something like this when you visit that URL. This is your uh, list of all the applications that your account is the manager of. Uh, very cool. So you probably won't have anything here unless you've done this before, in which case you don't really need this video. But we'll create a new application. Call it my new bot it's fine create that uh, so we have our application and then we create a bot account to go with the application this warning is saying that once you create a bot you can't undo it no big deal uh, skip this and cool so we have a bot uh, our bot can only do things that we give it permissions for so we want to scroll down to the bottom here and give it a send messages X permission that will allow our bot to um, send messages back into uh, our Discord server, any channels that it has access to. And that's all we need for now. If you ever need to add stuff to this because you're adding new things to your bot, just come back here and you can change this anytime. So sweet, we have our bot, we have our application. The only thing left to do is add it to our Discord server. Um, to do that, there is another link you need to know, and here it is. Uh, it's also on the Discord app.com domain, uh, backslash OF2, authorize, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, all we want to do is change this client ID here. So this is a placeholder. Um, but if we copy the client ID from our application into that URL and visit it, you should see something like this. Uh, so this lets you add the bot to any server that you have permissions for. I'll just add it to our meetup group server and cool, we can authorize it. You, you are not a robot, even though you're adding a robot to your server. And if you see this authorize, you're good. You should actually uh, see that bot as a user on your server now. So yeah, here we go. So here's my new bot. And here are a bunch of other bots from when I was huh, testing this out earlier. Uh, but this is the one we just added. Great. So now we have a bot. We have it uh, in our server. Now we just need to hook it up to some, uh, to a client to basically act as a handler for all of the events that are going to get sent to the bot. And that's where our starter kit comes in. So to get to the starter kit, we have a GitHub repo here. I'll uh, post this link in the video notes. And what you need to do is clone this GitHub repository somewhere on your computer. Doesn't really matter where. I'm gonna do it into this projects folder I have here. So clone that's our repo once that's done uh, you can use yarn or npm whatever package manager you use on uh, node stuff to install the dependencies oh sorry before we do that we need to change <laughs> into our repo okay so yeah now we can install our dependencies and let that go. Very cool. Here's our folder here. So we have source directory with one file in it called index.js. This is our handler for uh, the bots events. And cool, we're almost ready to go. The last step here is to basically hook up our code to our bot 
And to do that, we need to add a new file called .env. The reason we're doing this is basically to protect our bot token. So you're going to use your bot token that you created while you were following along earlier. Um, you actually want to protect that. You don't want other people to know about that token or else they could run their own code that uses your bot and your permissions. That's not good for security. So in fact, I'm going to delete the token that I created as soon as this video is over. Uh, but for now, I'll show it to you because I have to to finish this video. So here's my token. And by the way, this is a bot token, not the client ID that we used before. Um, yeah, we want to use the bot token at this point. And we put that in our env. If you were to go look in the source code for the index.js file, you would see at the top here, we're setting up a new uh, ears client, which is a library for uh, interacting with the interface or for the API for Discord. There's some other libraries that you could use for this. In fact, there's one that's more popular, just called Discord JS. But I kind of like Eris. I think the memory usage is a little bit better. Once you get to bigger uh, bots that are on a lot of servers or handling a lot of requests. Anyways, they both work pretty well. Uh, I would probably recommend checking out Discord.js for your first project. If it's not going to be huge, it looks like they have better documentation and probably some more and features a little bit, but Eris is cool. I mean, it works well. So uh, this starter kit uses Eris. And now that we have our bot token set up, we actually should just be able to start this server and have it be working on Discord. So if you look in the readme file, there are instructions for all this in case um, you forget or need to look it up. But there's two ways that you can run the the bot. So there's the dev, which will load it up with hot reloading and kind of a file watch. So as you make changes, you can see um, different behaviors without starting and or stopping and starting your server. Let's do that for now. So I run yarn dev. We should at the end see this here if it were connected and ready. There's a console log on this on ready event here that fires when that happens. Um, if you don't see that, it's probably not working. And the other thing that you should see now is on Discord. Uh, yeah, your bot will be connected. Looks like it's active. And we should be able to send it a message. So it's kind of a best practice to only handle messages if you're mentioning the bot I mean it doesn't have to like it the bot can actually be sent and it is sent every single message that happens on your server it's just if you try to handle all of them it can get a little bit messy so this bot will do one thing if you mention it it should respond back to us and say present oh it says hello world because I changed it earlier <laughs> but it's working so cool uh, we can, at this point, go back and look at how you would make changes to this and start adding some features and things. Um, we won't do too much just to keep this video short, but this is all in one file. So all of the logic for handling events is in index.js. And the main one here is the message create event. So whenever this fires, we're gonna have an async function that gets past the message object from Discord. And this message object has a lot of stuff. I would recommend maybe going in here and uh, console logging out the contents of this message so you can see it and play around with it. But what we do here is kind of run this array method on all the mentions and if the bot's user ID is in that list of mentions, we set bot was mentioned to true. 
and then if bot was mentioned is true, that's when we actually will create that hello world message that we saw earlier. It's probably a good idea to handle errors just because you can get errors for a lot of different reasons. So we put this inside of a try and just uh, catch the error. And you could do a lot of stuff here and do some logic to retry the message. In this case, since I don't know what people want to do, we just kind of took a minimalistic approach and just going to console log out the error if one happens. So let's change this. friendly little bot message, a little helpful guy. And as soon as you save that file, you'll see down here that everything reloads. Um, that's just built into the starter kit. So that's helpful. And at this point, Discord, we should actually see our new behavior. If we go back, do the same thing, mention a bot. There we go. Sweet. So that is how you use the um, Discord bot starter kit to get going. I don't know if this video was over five minutes, but I still think you could probably finish this in under five minutes if you uh, didn't talk through the whole thing. It's a very, very quick setup to get going. The real work is after you have this <laughs> to, to build out all the features that you want your bot to have. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching. Have a cool day.